How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse. I am here at the Shining 3D headquarters here in Hangzhou and I am having a look here today at the Iron Scan Pro. So this is their new flagship 3D scanner. It can do many different high detail 3D scanning modes and I've had the pleasure to be shown how it works by Phoebe who has been fantastic and it's a pretty phenomenal machine. So essentially this scanner is not a just a desktop scanner. This thing can scan large objects. It can scan objects with uh, markers where you put hundreds of uh, these things onto it, onto your object and then you can scan it like that. And you can also do a uh, high detail scan using the turntable which is the auto scan or you can do a stationary a scan or something like this where you take many shots and the software will stitch it together. So in terms of the accuracy of the 3D scanner, it can go down to an accuracy of 0.05 millimeters, which is phenomenal of a scanner in this price point. And it can also do the handheld rapid scan, which will be down to an accuracy of 0.3 millimeters, which is still nothing to sniff at really when you look at other scanners in the market at this price point. That's pretty impressive. So something that's really impressed me with this scanner is how fast it is. So I've worked with the IronScan SB4 in its uh, turntable auto scan mode and each scan pass is quite fast but this is phenomenally quicker and including the fact that it will stitch together automatically in the software as you're going. There is the option to auto align or manually align using three points. I'm quite familiar with manually aligning things in other scanning softwares but I'm really impressed with the fact that when you're doing a free scan of an object like this taking shots the auto align feature is actually really powerful and we were just we were just taking shots of this moving it around taking another shot moving it around and it was just stitching it together no problem at all you notice it's covered in a white powder so when you're doing an object scan you can't obviously scan things that are metallic you can't scan things that are clear uh, you can't really scan anything that's got hair on it this sort of technology doesn't work like that but if it's uh, something that's metallic like a gold statue you just cover it with a white talcum powder or a special scan spray and that lets this uh, scanner see it with no problems. In terms of file export options you have STL obviously you also have OBJ with textures so you have an MTL file and a, a texture file, texture uh, image file or you can export as .ply as well which I tend to use a lot because Mesh Mixer will import .plys and that has the mesh and texture all wrapped nicely together so you don't have to worry about mapping issues and then you can go and manipulate from there. So another thing that I do appreciate in the IronScan Pro that the IronScan S didn't offer is the fact that you can export a mesh that is not manifold. So you, when you do a 3D scan, there's holes. You cannot avoid that. You can avoid noise holes, but you can fix that up and get the file fixed for printing. But sometimes you don't want to because when you make a file watertight, it adds in extra data to try to patch those holes. And if you're scanning something that you want to have for inspection reasons, you don't want to add in artificial data. So the fact is with the IronScan Pro is you can export as a just a unfixed mesh and you can take that into another program like Mesh Mixer to then repair it manually yourself or into an inspection program to check sizes and that sort of thing, which I really, really do appreciate. So it would be pretty fair to say that I really want one of these scanners in my uh, home workshop and I can see the IronScan Pro being the new top dog for reverse engineering projects. So in industrial design, 3D scanning has always been a bit of a luxury. 3D printing is quite commonplace in terms of industrial design firms. Most of the designers will have access to at least a low-end 3D printer, but 3D scanning, not so much. A, a low-end Artec, for example, is still extremely expensive, and anything else on the market, like a MakerBot digitizer or Sense scanner, really doesn't offer the resolution you need in a product design field. But I think this scanner, in terms of its detail, is actually quite perfect for that sort of work workflow. And I can definitely see it being used a lot in reverse engineering practices in the future. And I would really like to get my hands on one. So thank you so much for watching this quick product overview, guys, on the IronScan Pro here at Shine 3D in Hongzhou, China. I, it's an absolute honor to be invited here by Shining 3D. I've had a fantastic time being shown all the amazing technologies they have. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see future 3D printing videos on Makers Muse, I mean, yes, I have traveled all the way to China to bring you this amazing content. Smash that subscribe button, guys, because I really appreciate it. And give us a like, and I'll see you again very shortly here on Makers Muse. Bye-bye.